have up some some mola some cash and i decided to build a full home lab or what i would like to call a full home lab uh, and today this fourth, first part of this video is going to show you guys some of the tools that i got and you're going to see me set it up on my the server rack which i have to put together it's laying down there i haven't put it together yet so you're going to see all the tools that i got you're going to see me setting up um the server and mounting a lot of the things on it However, you're not gonna see me kind of get into, uh, you know, setting up the server, setting up a RAID on the server, or connecting the server, or um, setting up, uh, uh, to figuring out what RAID I wanna use on the server. You're not gonna see me do that on this video because then the video will be super long. Um, that is probably, that is where I'm gonna be part two of the video. So that's why I'm gonna divide it into two part series when the second part, you're gonna see me set up um, Proxmox on the server. And then maybe the third part, we're gonna talk about the Cisco equipments in detail and, and other things as well um, as to what I'm using to what I'm using to what I'm gonna to use to get ready for the Cisco exam. So this is part one. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna cut the video off now. I'm gonna show you guys all of the equipment and you guys are gonna see me put it together, and then we're gonna put it together, and that's gonna be the end of this video. And then next week we're gonna talk about um installing or you guys are going to see me install Proxmox on the server and then the week after that you're going to see me talk about all of the CCNA equipment so all of the equipment that I've gotten for my CCNA. If you like the video thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button I try to come out with one video every single week so let's get to it. Okay guys so these are some of the equipment that I'm going to be um, putting on the rack today I'm going to kind of just glance through them first and then we're going to talk about them in detail um, well not we're going to talk about them a little bit but the video number two we're going to talk about them in detail and I don't want to make this video too long, <laughs> so I'm going to try to just kind of, because I have to rack it as well, so I'm going to try to just kind of go through it, talk about it. Just do know that there are more video coming in terms of like um, setting things up and doing all this stuff. A lot of this is new to me um, in terms of like CCNA and all that stuff, so um, that's one thing I want to make very clear. If you see me setting things up wrong, if you see me doing things wrong, just know that this is a learn, I'm learning right now. It's a learning process for me. And this is what this channel is all about, about growth, um, not about pretending you know everything. <laughs> it's about growth and going through failure and going through everything else and becoming successful at the end. So these are the equipments that I'm gonna rack uh, on a, a mount on the rack, rack on a mount, <laughs> a mount on the rack. Uh, this is the rack. Uh, as you can see, it's still in the box. I have to pull everything everything together as a PDU, so I have to kind of connect that as well. These are some of my equipment. Well, that's what I'm gonna use to, well, kind of put the rack together. Uh, that's a patch panel. Um, I really, for the Cisco exam, I really want to not only understand the switches and how to do certain things, but also, how do you, you know, set up a cable on a patch panel? How do you do a punch down? How do you do these things? So I've gotten all of the tools. Um, and again, this is one thing that you're gonna see on this channel. It's not just about passing the exam and, and you know, a lot of people, a lot of you guys might ask, hey, why don't you just do um, Cisco Packet Tracer? Why don't you just do GNS3? I'm going to learn all of those things. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about in detail when I, I'm gonna talk about that in detail when I talk about the tools that I'm gonna use to study for my CCNA, but not only that for me, you know, I want to learn Cisco Packet Tracer. I want to learn GNS3, but I also want to be able to learn the physical devices. You know, I want to learn them so I understand it because that for me is knowledge. It's not just about understanding one technology, right? It's about understanding all of them as much as you can. And that is what makes you a better tech. So that's why I, I did get the physical um, device. I'm gonna talk about this again, where I got them from and all that good stuff. But these are the equipment that I'm going to mount here. I mean, well, these are the equipment that I'm gonna mount and these are the, some stuff that I'm gonna use to mount it. But this is some of the stuff that I got as well. So those are the tools. Um, we have uh, three switch switches. We have Catalyst um, 2960. Um, we have uh, 2750. We have 2960, we have routers, we have the Cisco 2800 series, 2800 series, and again, all of this is new to me, so just keep that in mind. And of course, we have the big boy, which is the server. Um, this is a Power Edge R720, R720. Um, this is where I'm gonna install Proxmox. I don't wanna talk about it in detail today, Gonna make the videos already. This whole intro is pretty long already. So <laughs> we're gonna talk about it a little bit more when we are setting it up, when we're installing Proxmox on it. So today is just the mounting and introduction to some of the things that I'm gonna have on my home lab. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So look at this, this is uh, the documentation. I kind of messed it up getting it out of the box there. 
but uh, it should be quick. Uh, I do have all of the tools that they request um, to make it faster, I suppose. So it should be relatively quick. So let's go ahead and get started and let's uh, let the fun begin. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it's interesting because I'm like almost done with the rack and it was so quick to put together. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done a time-lapse video. I should have just done a, a regular video and, and go through it. But it's extremely, extremely simple to put together. So you have like two bars. I'm just going to call them bars. Uh, one here and then one down there. So you put those together and it seems as if you have two kind of panels going on there and there from what I can see here. And that's pretty much the most of it. So that's, that's pretty much all it takes to put it together. It's a lot more shut than I thought it would be though. Uh, but that's perfect because I can either put it somewhere like here or put it underneath my um, workbench here and uh, be able to have this in my office. I can just sit right here and walk on things and stuff like that. But it's pretty simple. It has two trays there um, and that's, that's it. The, <laughs> That was a uh, that was a lot more quicker than I thought it would be. So um, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, it's not completely put together yet, but I haven't even screwed the top part yet. But it seems pretty sturdy. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. I guess I will just keep doing the time lapse <laughs> video for now, um, and then just go ahead and finish up and then mount everything and then go from there. Just wanted to kind of say that it was pretty straightforward and easy to put together. Okay guys, so everything is completed. This is what it looks like fully completed. You have the server at the bottom. Um, now, one of the things that I, I, I was very aware of when I got this rack was that the server was gonna be a very tight fit. I was going to get um, the rail so I can move it out, but I'm still thinking about that. I might get it, I might not get it, but I, I got this rack because this one, this tray that the server is sitting on, so we'll come over here for a minute, this tray, is a perfect fit when the other tray is uh, a little too big. It came with two tray, which the other tray up top was a little too big. And that's the one that I wanted to use to do what I'm doing right now to put some of the equipment um, in there. So it's easy for me to find things when I want to find them. So <clears throat> this, is, this is what it, it looks like now. You have all of the switch, uh, the switches and the routers. And there the routers were in the, the routers are at the bottom here and then the switches on the top. Uh, you have all of the equipment um, on the inside here. Uh, and then you have the server at the bottom, of course. And as I said, I knew that the server was gonna be a tight fit on this rack. It's a pretty small rack, but I wanted a small rack uh, because it's gonna be in my office. So as you can see, the server is hanging, but it's sitting on top of this guy right here. So I'm not too worried about it. And of course there's the tray is sitting on top of the tray. Uh, now, as I said, I am thinking about getting some sort of rail, um, but I'm not sure yet. Those, those things are pretty expensive. So yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it came out perfect. Um, 
it looks pretty nice now uh, it's time to go to work <laughs> and try to install proxmox on the server i uh, figure out which raid i want to set up i'm thinking raid um at a raid six or raid ten raid six give me a little bit more space but it only allows me to have two drive failure uh two drive was to fail on the server i can replace both when raid 10 gives me a little bit more flexibility but it takes away pretty much all of this space and all i have is this space now granted that i am going to use this guy i'm going to remove that to kind of uh install a ssd or to set up a ssd um there i just got it today actually uh, i'm going to use this guy to replace that so i'm never going to use a cd <laughs> like ever um so i'm going to use this guy to kind of replace it and be able to install a ssd in there and that's why i'm going to install proxmox uh, and then the rest i'm going to use for just storage again uh, this is going to be on the next video as this video <laughs> is probably too long already so that's going to be on the next video where we set up the server set up the raid uh, install proxmox and get it up and running so we can start doing things on it and of course there's going to be another video of me talking about all of the equipments that i got um, for my ccna uh, talk about it in detail and then the books and things like in the video course that i'm going to use to get ready for my ccn as well so uh yeah thank you guys for watching if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button it's going to be an awesome journey so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your notification so you don't miss all of the videos that i'm going to be coming out with uh again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next one let me show you guys the back uh, oh one more thing what i did here is I kind of passed the power cable there. And also I didn't put that much space in between this ones because this things are not gonna be on. The only thing that's gonna be on consistently on this rack is the server. Apart from that, these are not gonna be on at all. The only time they're gonna be on is when I'm doing laps. So that's why there's not much space. And of course it's 15U. I wish I had gotten the 20U, but it's 15U. So there's not much space there. So I had to make, I had to make it work. <laughs> uh, this is the back. I do have a, it's a little heavy. Oh, another thing as well. On Amazon, um, they have, I don't know if I was supposed to pay extra, but <laughs> it said it was gonna come with a wheel. Cause I know that this is gonna be heavy and it is heavy, but there's no wheel. That was a disappointment. I mean, that's a disappointment cause I was hoping there was some sort of wheel so I can move this thing around, man, it's heavy. <laughs> I do have a PDU in the back. Um, as you can see, uh, I do have a PDU there. It's pretty nice. That's why I'm gonna um, connect all of the stuff so I don't have to kind of use that as because it's already pretty, organizer <laughs> to rearrange that so i bought a pdu um to kind of provide power supply to the to the rack so this is what it looks like in the back let me give you guys a better view <sighs> if i can find this thing that's what it looks like again the server is hanging a little bit but it's sitting on top of something so it's not really it's not really hanging so it's sitting on top of something this is what it looks like so this is going to be my my main home lab and of course as i get more and more certificate and things get a little bit more complicated. Um, hopefully I can build a bigger and bigger home lab. But for now, this is going to be my tiny home lab that is gonna take me to a higher level certificates. And then when I get there, then maybe I can do a little bit more. Again, I think I've said like, thank you for watching like twice, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you wanna see some more. I will see you guys next week.